So what if I told you that there is a Linux distro that would fast update automatically when your game better than Windows and comes with everything pre-configured even for Nvidia cards? Sounds too good to be true? Well, today we are diving into Bazite, a Fedora-based gaming distro that might just be the best one yet, not only for cameras but also for everyday use. It might be um, similar to Nobara that I've tested uh, sooner, but let's check it out. Bazite is a Linux distro based on Fedora Atomic, built by the community around Universal Blue. It's an immutable OS, which means the core system is read-only, making it way more stable and safer from accidental breakage. Out of the box, it comes in several flavors, Steam Deck mode, KDE Plasm, GNOME, even a hybrid desktop and gaming mode. Everything is managed through flat-packed and app or sandboxed by default. That may sound restrictive, but honestly, it just works. You install it once and it takes care of everything else. You can see in some of the gameplay that I've showed you and then I will show you again. Bazite made some games that were very unstable in like PopOS or uh, Nobara. Vimoji was pretty unstable in both of them. In Bazite it's pretty stable with some lagging but not very... not that bad. It's still playable and all. Bazite can also run uh, whole games like Need for Speed Most Wanted at the start or even Rupera Universalist 4. So I think for people that play recent and whole game it can be a good alternative. While showing you the installation, I will talk to you about the daily usability. What really surprised me is how usable Bazite is for a daily task. KDE is as snappy and gorgeous here, with apps like Firefox, Candle Live, where I am actually editing this video, and LibreOffice, just one click away. Thanks to the Flatpak ecosystem, I never had to touch the terminal once. Everything installs from Discover or FlatHub. Updates happen in the background and when you're ready, a quick reboot applies them, similar to SteamOS. There's also the Bazite portal, a neat G-Way to manage the system tweak, update kernel, Enable services like SSH or Tayscale or even Google NVIDIA GPU features. It's user friendly, clean, and honestly, I wouldn't mind giving this to someone switching from Windows. Now, let's talk about gaming. The real reason why you're here, right? Bazite includes custom performance tuned kernel, low latency trick, and proton GPU built in meaning better compatibility and fewer headache when launching games. It detects your GPU automatically even if it's NVIDIA and instant the proper driver without you lifting a finger. Sim rocks out of the box and so does Lutris RX Game Launcher. Most of my Windows games work flawlessly with performance close to or even better than Windows 11 in some cases. Plus, with tools like Mango Hub or Game Mode Preinstall, optimizing your gaming session takes literally zero effort. 
but that's not all. Bazaid is packed with small but smart features, things like refresh snapshot let you roll back to previous states if something goes wrong. The entire system uses OS3, which means update or transactional. If anything fails, your previous setup is untouched. You also get pre-tweaked settings for performance, latency and gaming compatibility. On the edition you choose, and yes, you can boot into a full Steam Gaming Mode UI if you're using it in a, as a couch gaming PC or HTPC. Honestly, it's like having SteamOS but with the full power of a desktop Linux system. You can also easily go on YouTube or on a, jelly, on a Jellyfin server like I will do later and just go on Discord like a lot of people. Like you can see, it can do multitasking, like I'm recording everything for the video, I'm editing the video on it, so yeah. It's usable for everyday use and even for gaming and that's the part that's great. Nobara wasn't, it was made for gaming and that's all. It was pretty laggy or not very fluid when I was trying to do multitasking when I was trying to work on my home lab or when I was trying to transfer file from my NAS but with Pazite, everything click up and everything works totally fine. I've tried a lot of Linux distro, Nobara, CatchOS, PopOS, and even more um, utility uh, distros. Each has its own strengths, but Bazaar really surprised me. The stability, the performance, the ease of use. It feels like something made by gamer for gamer without ignoring everyday users, like I was lacking on Nobara. Whether I was editing a video, chatting on Discord, or playing some whole game on your games, nothing got in the way, and for once I didn't have to hunt down drivers or trick config files for hours, it just worked, some like Nobara, and honestly, that's raw in the Linux world. So, should you use Bazite? Yes, if you want a stable pre-configured Linux system with great gaming support. Yes, if you are using a Steam Deck, HTPC or even a regular desktop but you want it but, uh, for the couch or, or anything else. Maybe not if you prefer a traditional package manager like APT or Pacman. Maybe not if you are allergic to flat pack or immune immutable system, but for most people it's an incredible balance of power, polish and simplicity. By the way, we have now a community discord where we chat about Retrotech, Linux setup and all things nerdy and where you can propose me Linux Astro to test, the link is down below. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little tour of Bazite. I personally switched to Bazite on my main PC and so far I'm loving it. If you want to see more Linux content like this, you know what to do. See you next time and I hope to see you on the Discord server. Bye everyone.